Hi, I'm Kitchener Mayor Barry Verbanovich. 2021, and in fact, the past 20 plus months have truly been unlike any other in the city of Kitchener, our country, and our planet. I'm proud of the way that City of Kitchener Council, staff, our partners, and most of all, you, our residents, have risen to the challenges that have been presented to us. Despite another year that's been anything but normal, we've made tremendous progress towards the shared community priorities outlined in our strategic plan, and our budget for 2022 continues our strong commitment to the actions outlined in our plan. Let's hear about a few of these accomplishments from the staff and community members that helped make them a reality. Since the Mayor's Task Force on Equity, Diversity and Inclusion was established to create a comprehensive equity strategy for the city in 2019, we've been busy. During the last six months, our equity inclusion and anti-racism policy has been council approved. This is the beginning of a long road as we work for reconciliation, equity and social justice and towards making Kitchener a space in which all can feel valued. We've been really focused on Kitchener's economic recovery by investing in a new Make It Kitchener 2.0 strategy. This includes $110 million that we'll invest over the next 10 years. We'll also be providing funding for the actions outlined in our Housing for All strategy. We've implemented a customer satisfaction program where the public can provide real-time feedback on many of our services, in person, by phone, or through online surveys. We were also the first municipality in Canada to launch a personalized online customer service portal that puts the services you use most right at your fingertips. This year, we worked together across our region to develop Transform WR, our Community Climate Action Plan. We have a common goal across our entire region to reduce our community greenhouse gas emissions by 80% by 2050 from our 2010 levels. The Council's priority is to do what we can to help end homelessness. We've committed to provide city-owned properties to create affordable and supportive housing to help to lift people out of homelessness. In this year's budget process, you told us again that housing was a top priority. That's why the 2022 budget includes a significant investment of $2 million into an affordable housing reserve fund to support developing affordable housing in our community. Campus Kitchener is our community's citizen advisory committee tasked with holding the city accountable to its commitment to the strategic plan goals and actions. We're really impressed with what the city's accomplished so far with its current strategic plan, particularly given the number of staff that were on temporary leave or diverted to urgent matters responding to the pandemic. It was really impressive to find that of the 12 completed projects we reviewed, six projects exceeded our expectations and the other six met all our expectations. As you can see, despite the focus on supporting our community through COVID-19, I'm thrilled with the progress that's been made on these important key strategic initiatives, demonstrating our city's commitment to being part of Canada's contributions to localizing the UN's 17 Sustainable Development Goals. In 2022, I look forward to working with all of you, City Council, our staff and our community partners to make Kitchener a more just, equitable, prosperous and sustainable city that truly supports everyone in our community and ensures that nobody is left behind. This is Kitchener. This, this is, is Kitchener. Kitchener. This is Kitchener.